Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. I'm excited today. I got some new toy. I, I told you uh, a few videos ago, I discovered uh, uh, a light that came up on my Scion XD back in California for the uh, TPMS, Tire Pressure Monitoring System. It came up, it's one of those yellow light, right? So let me show you. Uh, I also have that issue with the Sienna, so let me show you. All right, as you can see, as you turn on your ignition key, not start it, just turn it on. And you would see a light right there, which I have a black tip on it right now. But and you can see that light is back there. Yeah. That's the light that will stay on if your TPMS system uh, have some kind of issue on it. Which either the TP, uh, one of the sensor on the four wheel is not working. Or the tire pressure is low. All right. That's what that, that, that light is for. Yeah, that's hidden right there. See, I got tired of looking, so I just put the tape right on it so it doesn't bother me at night when I'm driving. All right, so I already troubleshoot and determined that one of the sensors on this vehicle, one or four, I don't know. So the only way you know which one is not working is by having this tool right here. And I will show you how that works a little bit later on. We will do the unboxing, and then I'm going to show you what the uh, TPMS uh, sensor looks like. This is a pack of four, I think about $25. I will put the link to it. By the way, this is 2008 Toyota Sienna, and this is for it. If you buy an OEM uh, sensor, it's gonna be around $40 a piece. And if you have somebody else's replace for you, it's gonna be $40 for labor. So that's $80 per, per wheel. So if you have four wheel, that's $320 that you're gonna have to pay for somebody else to do this for you. But I bought this tool, $150, this is $25, so $175, I can do it myself. And I'm gonna show you that later on, but right now I'm gonna show you how to use this tool to determine which sensor is actually bad, all right? Uh, but gen generally, you know, you can determine where the light light tell you the tire is actually low, or you can use the this gaze, tire, the pressure gauge i already serviced them all up to 35 psi and the light still stay on so that tell me one of the sensors not working right all right let's go uh open this uh, toolbox all right yeah let me show you what the sensor look like since it's outside right now we don't use it yet so this is the sensor there's four of them in here and these are aftermarket. And you can see each of them. Notice this, uh, this, this number right here. Each of them have a different number. So you will need that to program it later on. And you can see this one look different too. The number, uh, the, see the A25EBFC5. This one is A65F1282. So you can see each of them have their own little serial number which you will need to program it into the, the ECU of the vehicle in order for it to know, to read the sensor. That's why you need this tool. All right, let's go open this up and I will show you how this work on the vehicle itself, all right, to troubleshoot. All right, let's open it up. I already opened it up, so I'm just gonna show you what's come with the box. So, when you open up, there's a quick check, starter guy, packing list. This cable is actually used to hook up to the vehicle to uh, for this. Uh, you need to talk with the ECU. A different uh, end of adapter. This is for charging. This, by the way, is rechargeable. So you need this to charge the reader 
there's some kind of activation card which I didn't there's no need to maybe down the line and here is the reader itself programmer it's actually called a TPMS uh, uh, tool all right okay so in order to use this do you need to charge this up you don't know what condition it is when it will write. So you would use this uh, adapter, plug into this unit here. That's where you plug it in to charge it. I will charge it for about an hour until it's full. To turn it on, you press this button here. And there it is. So we are going to go read the... There's a bunch of button down here, and I will show you what they do. Mainly, you're gonna use this to read the, the tire pressure from the vehicle, all right? All right, let's go do this. So before you even go out there and do anything on the vehicle, you need to do some setting first. So press on this, wait for it to turn on. Then we go down to, uh, Upgrade. Actually, you got to go to setting uh, the Wi-Fi first. Press OK. See how the Wi-Fi, press OK. And it's going to scan for the network. See, I already set it up. So whatever the network you have, just go in and put in the password. And then once it's done, press back out. And you're going to scroll down, go back another one. And then you're going to go do upgrade. All right. So since we do upgrade through the Wi-Fi, we can scroll down to uh, Wi-Fi. Then press. Since I'm not connected, so I need to go back. Go back to uh, option here. Okay, Wi Fi. So you actually have to connect to, uh, hmm, where's my happy wall? Did my happy wall just disappear on me? I think so. So you actually have to connect to the Wi Fi. See, when you see that symbol right there, you are connected to the, the network of uh, Wi Fi at home. Go back out twice, press back, uh, press uh, return here. That's a back out. And then you do go do upgrade, press OK. You're going to do uh, Wi Fi, press OK. So it's going to scan for upgradable. Boy, it's going to take half hour. So I will bring you back when the half hour is up. All right. Well, I did the upgrade about half hour ago, so that's why, that's why I say there are no packages that need to be upgraded. So you're okay, so you can go back out. So back out, go. We go TPMS. Uh, actually, just turn it off and go out to the vehicle, right? To say battery. All right, let's all do this. So it's going to be a bit noisy right now. They do repaving the road. So, so this is not a touch screen. So you have to use the button, right? Right now it's already easy to move up and down. So right now we, we want to read the sensor. I'm going to go, go ahead there. It's going to ask you which type it is. So we're going to move down to Asia. Press OK. Then we're gonna go down to Toyota. So once you get to Toyota, you're gonna click OK. Then you're gonna pick the model. The model, this is gonna be a Sina, a Sienna. Click OK. So this is 2008. So we're going to pick this one. 
All right, I'm sorry for the noises. You know how it is when you do video. There's always some noises coming along. So we're gonna do check. So, okay. I already serviced up all four tires, 35 PSI according to the gauge, all right? Let's see what it is on its wheel. You gotta press and hold. Okay, so I ran around. So this is what it read on the equipment itself. So I'm about five pounds over. So this mechanical gauge is five pounds over. So I was 30, so I should put it 30, 30 and see what it looked like, all right? All right, let's redo this. I lowered them all down to close to a little bit over 30. So let's see what they look like, all right? I'm not going to bring you around. I'm just going to read this one first. You got to hold this. And here is the result. Pretty close. So I would say 30 will give me about 30, 35, 37. Even though they all read right now, but as soon as I drive up, it's going to wear out a battery and that's going to die. All right. And that is how you use this tool to uh, read the sensor. See that this uh see here the ID? I don't know how. Okay. See if you cycle up. Okay, every time you move the wheel, see like it give you the ID. See how different ID? Yeah, they all have their own little ID. See, it say power low. You can see that? It say low. I just noticed that. See, this one's okay. This is low. This is okay. This is low. So you can see this sensor is low. The battery is low. That sensor is very low. Okay, but if you're going to change one, you might as well change all four, right? All right, let's go check out... I just learned something interesting. So if you rotate your tire and they're no longer in the right place, it might affect the way the system uh, notice the sensor. So let's see. We're going to go to die. Remember, we did the check, right? So we're going to do diagnostic. So remember, you got to turn on your key into, uh, you know, AC so it have power. Don't start the engine. Just, just turn it on. So let's see. See, right now they all match. Before, they all mixed up. So I, re I had to uh, do this. I actually went back to uh, relearn. So a lot of these sensors, if they are pre-programmed, once you install into the wheel, you can relearn and it automatically put into the CPU, the ECU. So what I did is I did relearn and then read the, all the, the, the sensor where it should be. And that's how it was correct. This tool is used to, uh, if you rotate your tire, it will, it will relocate where the, the spare. Sometimes some of the vehicle has spare. So if you put the spare where it's drying is, so that's how you know. All right. Okay. I also find that an interesting thing. Once I uh, did the reeler, that, uh, look, I'm going to turn it on. Remember that thing stay on before all the time. Now it go with 
disappear by itself. But right now, it know where all the sensors should be. I guess that's why it came up. But anyway, the battery was low, so I'm gonna swap the sensor out. Uh, my my Sienna need new tire also, so I'm gonna put the new sensor once they put on the new sensor uh, the tire. Interesting. Of course. Okay, there was supposed to be a manual in the box, but there is none. So what you do, you go to uh, the official website here, uh, www.x2tech.com. And then you can find, uh, see right here also. See, see there's this a user manual right here. I guess you can use the barcode to get that. And it will look like this. I download the file from the website, from their website, and I aim it the TPMS tool. There's actual file for 200 model and a 150. So I download the 150, and this is what they look like. Oh, too big. Let's keep scrolling. This tell you everything here to know with the page, how to use it, how to copy stuff. So, yeah. I guess you had, you got to download like, everything's in PDF uh, file now instead of paper print. All right, all right. So uh, what I just show you, just some few basic steps. There's more to it. So if I do it, a uh, more detailed stuff. Once I put the new sensor in, because right now I'm not gonna attempt that because my Sienna need new tire anyway. So once I have the new tire put in, I can ask the technician to install those new sensors, the four that I bought. And I will put the link of the, the reader and the sensor down in the description box. And uh, thanks for watching. I'll catch you on the next video. Bye for now.